Okay, what about you? I want another answer. <laughs> I could say a lot of things, but I'll just say that, like, yes, I have seen a huge, I agree with you. I have seen a huge decline in masculinity. I have seen a huge, well, that's why, like, so many men are buying OnlyFans. That's why so many men are okay with this kind of lifestyle. Mm. Well, not okay, but they obviously buy into it. There's a lot of things that are out of balance right now. Um, and a lot of females are weakened by it because they don't feel like they, well, of course, they do have a place in society. Of course, they can do a lot of things with with what they have. But, like, the the amount of downplay that women have nowadays is in, insane. The, 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 the place that women put themselves in is insane comparable to, to men. And then men aren't being recognized for who they are, so they're also being downplayed and demasculinized or whatever. I feel like a lot of men are just like, I don't know, they're not men anymore. All right. What about you? Thoughts on the show, final thoughts, questions? Um, I think it was a healthy debate. You know, we can agree to disagree, and there's different perspectives, and I'm appreciative to be here on the show and talk to everybody here. Thank you for coming. What about you? Um, I think that, you know, in order for us to keep society being a decent society, we need to make sure that our children are protected. And it's one thing to do sex work, but it's another thing to condone it and then publicize it. Because I actually saw a thing that said that over time, our children will no longer be children anymore. There will be no childhood. There will be young individuals, but there will not be childhood anymore. And there's nothing wrong with doing what you need to do to be in survival, to get it done, but to turn that and say, okay, like, this is a, the best thing that there is, I think that is completely wrong, and I just really hope that we really change our perspective. Did you have the same mindset as some of the girls earlier on the podcast, like Danny Banks, et cetera, um, before you got married? No, I never had the same mindset. I just was in survival. Okay. So you knew, like, all right, I got to get the fuck up out of this and find a man versus I'm a boss and I got a lifestyle to maintain and all this other shit. I actually never even tried to be a boss in that situation. I would work until I made what I needed to make, and I'd never even try to go over it because I would try to heal myself in the moments that I had off to get back to where I was to do it again. You know what's interesting? I've always said that. Like, when girls make money, they'll be like, oh, I made a 1000 bucks. That's good. I, I, I'm Black good guy. now. Uh, and then they get the fuck up out of there. And this is the difference because, like, you guys were trying to insult him for saying that women aren't hard workers. The reality is, is that women just make the money as a means to an end to get the lifestyle, whatever. Like, they make enough. All right, I'm done. But for men, it's like, oh, I made $1,000 today. If I do this 30 days, I can make 30 k this month. And men will have a higher proclivity to work hard because our status is contingent upon that. Our ability to attract a mate is contingent about th- upon that. But for women, it's not. Like, you guys can get a guy and be a brokey. But we we can't do that. <laughs> so and so this is why are. men in general just work harder. Like it, it's just a, a fact. Like mm-hmm. you know, a lot of girls well, well men, women make more money nowadays. I mean, guys go into more laborious jobs. Women don't. They do go we want to be making more cushy. money these days anyway? We should be being mothers and mm. being in the household, being cooks and getting back to how it used to be and having yes. the men be on the battle. See, but most girls would tell you yeah, you're you're boring. lazy and you're stupid for saying that. So that most boring. women would tell you that you're, the they would shit on you for and saying that. And that's the yeah. psyops yeah. that's happening. Yeah. Of course, for that. yeah, for sure. I agree with you. You have a soul. Like you have a soul. And there have been some soulless individuals here that, frankly, are just energy suckers. And Mm -hmm. it's like they almost hate you for having a soul. And just side note, I I actually probably should mention, like, when I said I was selling drugs, I was 12 years old. Mm -hmm. I was born into poverty. I was a child. I was 12 years old. But the moment that I could transition into something, I did. So those were the decisions of a child versus the decisions of a woman. But in both cases, they're bad. And I just really want to know, like, it's our responsibility to hold things together. And here's the thing. It's funny because, like, if I asked <laughs> the saint, hey, was selling drugs shameful? He wouldn't have started. He'd be like, yeah, it Absolutely. was. Mm-hmm. But I noticed when he asked you guys that, you guys have had an issue and didn't want to concede to that. So I think that's a, that's a big difference. But, yeah. Uh, do you have some? What um, about you? Yeah. I just wanted to Or did you finish that. your point? Sorry. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Uh, change Last starts thoughts. with uncomfortable conversations and change and getting the world to run smoothly and set good examples and if you don't have these conversations these plus others there's other ways to do it you don't have conversations you don't have communication and you don't listen to receive and 
just listen to respond. You don't learn and you don't change the world and you don't change yourself. I also would like to say I'm a big mental health advocate. With mental health, you have to start with being real with yourself. Hey, what's wrong? What is going wrong with me? How can I be the best person to contribute to the world? Because, hey, life's short. We want to be the best that we can be. And figure yourself out. Self-love. Women, I'm always going to promote that. Self-love does not look like saying fuck everything and everybody. It's love. It starts with love, and you put it out, and you be real with yourself. I have a people. question. What's that? Uh, you, you said you have a commercial cleaning business. Did you start up that business through the money that you made from dancing? Partially, yes. Okay. Like, how long did you dance before you were able to make that segue? Um... I could have made it prior. I was nervous to just jump into it. So that's, yeah, it probably a couple of years. Okay. So you did for a couple of years and you were able to transition out like, what, like two, three years, something like that? Yeah, something like that. Okay. And then you took that money and invested into your business. And when's the last time you danced since then? Ooh, uh, it's been a few years. All right. No, I just asked that because um, what I've noticed is like very rarely do girls like transition out of that life. Mm, right. Like, yeah. like I, I mean, I mean, most of the girls here are still in it, right? So yeah. like they haven't, they, they like they're, or they're in and they're yeah. still it's, in it. Yeah, it's hard. So, it, fast money is an addictive thing, and yeah. that's that's why I think your mental health is really important because you need to have the discernment to know, hey, fast. This is my plan. Does that also mean easy? Yeah. Okay. Question: Do you guys ever want to get out the industry? Do you want to get out? Yeah. 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 I don't want to get out. I'm very happy in it. But I know that there will be a means to an end, and I have I have no qualms about that. There you go, girl. Double down. Okay. All right. I, I got out because it just didn't resonate with me. I My soul, I could feel it was bringing me down. I mean, you could say the devil was taking over. Oh, I mean, like, it's a for? real. Um, I danced. So I was dancing in L.A. Damn. Yeah, Whoa. really bad. Damn. Really so bad. Was, what was the age? Oh. Wait, what, what is the age in I LA? was. I was. So, oh. you know, I was dancing in L.A. Yeah. Um, did right. it for a couple years, had some really crazy years, was not living my highest potential and the things I had done prior in my life because I wasn't happy with myself. Mm -hmm. And staying in it made me realize it was making me become someone I didn't want to become and I didn't recognize myself anymore. So I decided to take myself out, not out of shame, not out of embarrassment. Just, it was like, not like in 20, alignment with me. 21, when did you get out? Uh, 21. 21. Yeah. Right. So I've been out for a long time and it's been hard. It's been hard trying to do my own businesses and have regular jobs and trying to balance it all. And there's it's just been days... Hard? Hard as far as like... Are because you saying she's that saying, it was easy and fast when you were stripping? <laughs> I wouldn't say easy, but fast. I don't think dancing or anything in the adult industry is okay. easy. Fast. But what you're doing now is not hard. laborious, maybe okay. totally. But, but what you're doing now is hard. It's it, it definitely is more laborious and requires a lot more mental requires strength more. and just requires more of me, which for me, I like the challenge because I want to live up to my highest potential. And that's what makes me truly fulfill, feel just, fulfilled. Just but noticing. I had to live the life and come full circle to fully comprehend and live that. If you guys talk long enough, that truth eventually comes out because <laughs> earlier you guys said that it was it was hard work being in the sex industry. And I think it's more life. mentally. It's just mentally texting. I mean, well, physically, sure, your yeah, but dying. that's what I'm saying. You're like, feeling your soul so, die. So it's, that's not the work. Takes. That's the consequence. You're feeling it, your soul die. Totally, but it does re regardless take a lot yourself, out of you. Yeah, yeah, which is absolutely. Not normal. I can dig that.